Hello guys, welcome to Roblox System Test 7. So, so we have a, so I have updated the Simplex 4100ES voice evacuation system. Oh, and by the way, before we get started, you'll notice that I have all of these fire alarms on, on the shelves in, in this garage. That's cause I'm using all of the garages in this map for fire alarm storage. Now you notice that and now specifically the fire alarm storage is in is in the same room as the panel that's because this is a garage so it has all these storages but since this garage but since this door over here leads directly into the house i decided to make this the panel room so yeah but that's something the the other the other houses don't have that's because the garages are are not directly connected to the houses so yeah oh and if you guys want i can probably redo system test 4 which is the one with the simplex 4008 that's because i replaced the two true alerts that were on the system you can see them right here. you can see it's it's these two on the on the left that's because when I was putting down the fire alarms, I was grabbing from that system, and I noticed that they were bigger than the remote strobe that's that that's currently on on this system, which is which is the fourth one. So so yeah. Anyways, if you if you want if you want me to do a system test of the four thousand eight 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 again with the with the, with the new true alerts let me know in the comments but anyways let's get started so nothing has changed here oh by the way the garage door is open because today i decided it's a because today is a nice day to have the garage door open in roblox and i have the jeep because why not drive the jeep into the garage but yeah let's get started so nothing has changed here you got the same smoke detector Here's the Simplex 4100ES. Pull station's the same and the alarm's the same. But now if we go in here, there's something different. I have added a I have added a strobe on the system here. This is a Simplex 4906-9103. And down here we have we have a Simplex T bar that's that hasn't changed. Over here, nothing's changed, just the enunciator, the pull station, and then the alarm device. But there, but something has changed in here. Now, I'm going to go find a light switch for this room. Okay, now something has changed in here. Nope, it's not the smoke detector, but it's the pull station. So the pull station that used to be over there. So the pull station that's over there, it's now over there. Because I decided I was going to put it directly under the alarm. And now if we go over here, nothing has changed. Annunciator is still the same. In the in the master bedroom, this this device hasn't changed at all. It's still the same. In the bathroom, that that hasn't changed. In the boys' bedroom, it's still the same. In the office, same device. In the girls' bedroom, same device. So nothing has really changed in this area. It's just that the pulsations moved over here, and then I added another device right there. So now let's get started by activating the pulsation in the living room now in its new location, and we're gonna pull it. So the first time activation in a new location. Three, two, one. Attention, 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 an emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. 
Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk. And as you can see, the name is still the same. It's just that it's in a new location. It's still named Pole Station Living Room. So now let's go reset the pole station. Oh god, I wait. Oh wait. Come on. There we go. So let's reset the pole station. And now let's reset the system. And I'm gonna use the reset from this enunciator. Tell me if it's the correct key. Yep, it's the correct key. Now let's do a system reset. Oh, and by the way, I was going to do a walk test with this system, but currently the login level is is too the access level is, is not high is not high enough for the walk test, so I do, so I currently don't have access to it. So oh, yeah. Next up, we're gonna activate the smoke detector in the kitchen just cause it's near this device here. And, uh, let's see. Oh, and by the way, I did remove this the smoke saber because I modified it, tested it, didn't work. So let's use the Solo A4, which is just a cylinder. Actually, you know what? Let's turn on the light first. Wait, no, that turns off the lights. Oh, the lights are already on, okay. I thought they were off. Oh, oops. Solo A4, all right. Attention, attention. Attention, an emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit. kitchen. And let's leave the, let's leave the enunciator unlocked. So yeah, there's nothing much has changed, so that'll be it for this system test. Actually, you know what? I might show you what the whole map looks like. So I'm just gonna get into the Jeep. So, so I'm just gonna drive around the map. Okay, let's, let's go this way. So here's where system test six was. If you haven't, if you haven't already, go check, go check out that video. The link is link for it's in the description. So, yeah. Oh my god, I hate having to drive first person. Like this, is so hard. this is driving first person is much harder than I thought. Oh god, now the jeep is gl glitching. Now, this is where System Test 4 was, and this is where System Test 5 was. And this is where System Test 2 was. And there's nothing down here. 
like I don't feel like adding another house just to install another system because you know whatever I have to do here whatever I add here I have to add to another oh my god the, the jeep so now actually I'm going to show you what I've been adding in the garage in this in the fire alarm storage areas so in here, you, you some of the devices you've seen in the other fire alarm storage area, the the initiating devices specifically, which is all the devices on the top shelf here. That's cause these devices will will only work specifically on the other systems. Okay, okay. In other words, they they work specifically on all the systems except for the. Simplex 4100ES voice evacuation system. Because, you know, the voice evac system works... The Simplex voice evac system works from the up, work differently from the other systems here. And now, I stored this... So now, I stored all these devices in here just because it's right next door to this house here, which has this EST3. So, it's mostly Edwards devices. So that you see these, these three up here. These two smoke detectors, but the the what the two smoke detectors between the simplex true true alarm and the T bar. And then this is just all Edwards devices, to have all Genesis and Integrities. And then we have all these speakers just in case I want to install one of these there because in roblox you can do anything and now over here there's nothing in there yet so if you want to check it out for, so if you want to check it out for yourself the link for this map is in the description and yes i always put this same link in the in the description of every roblox system test video i do so now we're not so now we can't end the video without going back to this house. Oh wait, I forgot my Jeep. You know what? Let's leave it here. And to end this video, I'm gonna use the extra short detector tester to activate the smoke detector in the garage. So here we go. reset and that'll be it for system test 7 bye guys